All right, all right. Coming back, thanking the Lord for so much. Hope and pray everybody's doing well and giving a great shout out to the YouTube family. And uh, actually, I want to respond back with you, Dan, in this video here. And of course, we all know it's all over the news, it's all over the internet about Pastor Marvin Wallace being carjacked and beaten up. And let me give a shout out to my man, Ramon Garrett, also. I got a few partners down in Detroit. And it's sad, man. It's not safe nowhere. It's not safe in your own home. It's not safe really in your neighborhood. It's not safe sometimes not even in church. And Pastor Wimers is one of my favorites. Well-known, respected man of God. And I love to hear him sing. Anybody know about the Wimers family, period. And, you know, their name speaks for itself. And to be carjacked. He's from Detroit. You know, it don't matter nowadays, man. People don't care. You work hard, and people want to rob you for everything you got. And see, Dan, this is why every time I do videos talking about us, people get mad at me. They got mad at the video I did about Trayvon because I said we got so much black on black crime just like you stated in your video. We're going to keep killing each other every day. Everybody wanted to march. And I said right after that march, watch how many more black people going to kill black people. You can get mad at the truth all you want. You got people in their own neighborhood rob their next door neighbor for some crack. And they don't care if they got to kill somebody. Beat up their children. I always say this. If somebody bold enough to break in your house, they bold enough to take your life. And that's why when I get on camera, bro, y'all know my heart. I tell the truth about this evilness. These these last and evil days, you heard me say it's going to get worse before it get better. And just because you're a pastor, that don't mean you're excluded. I keep telling people, man, any follower of Christ, any child of God, any Christian, expect things to happen. A lot of people think, oh, just because they're a child of God, nothing's going to happen. Well, the Bible said it rains on the just as well as the unjust. And this whole thing about, since we talking about us, this this black on black crime, man. Let me tell you something, it's done been in these last four or five weeks over here, murderers, people murdering. That's why I pray hard, man, over my house. I pray, you know, it don't matter where I'm at, what part of town I'm in, it's violence. And when you get to the point where you see things like this happening, you know, all Pastor Marvin was doing with minding his business, going and what was at a sicko to go get some gas and he said it was about 10 of them in there followed him out and he was pumping his gas with his back turn you know and all of a sudden one of them come up and you can see the knot on his head where they just kind of roughed him up a little bit but thank God Pastor Marvin Wine is okay it could have went another way somebody could have got killed he could have got killed he could have wound up getting his hand on one of them and choking him to death anything could have happened and if he would have wound up killing, they would have said, oh, he ain't no man of God. Let me tell you something once again in this video. That's why I said in my old video, I got my Bible and I got my gun also. And you got to protect yourself. The Bible teach you that. Don't be no fool. Don't, don't think that you can't use force. You can't shoot nobody. I be trying to get, give folks a wake-up call because they think, oh, they're a Christian. Being a Christian don't mean you're supposed to be weak, you know. And Big Dan, Brother Dan, I know you know something about some, some war and fighting. So, I mean, my heart goes out always to everybody, man. And Detroit, big shout out to Detroit. And I know Detroit is rough, but hey, where I stay is rough. Look like everywhere I know is rough. Even though the, the, the parts over here where people think they so safe at, the, the, the areas where they so rich at, they getting hit hard now where I stay. They got people breaking in their house, shooting them. Killing them. Do this sound familiar, bro? Do any of this stuff sound like what the Bible say? Why do you think Jesus told the disciples to save your life? You must lose this life. We don't know what's coming up on us, but we do know who holds tomorrow. This is why if you're a child of God, you just got to stay ready. Because let me tell you something, that's the devil's job to kill, steal, and and to kill, steal, and destroy and to bring in false peace. This is why I'm not trying to jump into this, but in these videos, you ask, this is why I always say when you talk about being raptured out of here, 
There's too many people getting killed. And you talking about being raptured out. Well, I know a pastor not too long ago that just got murdered in his own home in front of his wife. That's hard to deal with. You got you got you got um, Christians overseas right now being killed just for toting the Bible. I'm just trying to give you a wake up call. PP draws. I fear you in this video. You got people being murdered. Just just it, it reminds me of the girl who got shot because the man said, "If you if do you love Jesus or you do you believe in Jesus? And if you say yes, I'm going to kill you." That woman said yes. And they killed her. But in the long run, that lady got eternal life. See, this is the stuff folks don't like to talk about. The real deal behind the Bible. Like poor Stephen, stoned to death. Look at the all in all Jesus lied on, crucified. How many that followed Christ? Look at John the Baptist, beheaded. So many. Look at Paul, beheaded. If you are a follower, I ain't trying to scare nobody just to speak what's real. If you understand, I can understand unbelievers feeling this way, but to true believers, if you understand that you will have eternal life, you shouldn't fear death. See, I, I love how Pastor Marvin Wiles was, was in that interview when they had him on the news. He not once bad-mouthed him. See, that's a man of God. See, he's humble. And he said, the only thing he said was that I hate that it had to come down to this way. He said, I'm from Detroit. You from your own neighborhood and you get robbed from your own neighborhood, your own skin color. That's why I did that video about Black History Month. Why? Why, was, why should we even have one, Brother Dan? It ain't, I said in the video, old video, check it out. I said, how about black folks treat black folks nice this month? We always talking about the white man this, the white man that. I'm going to blame it on the white man. I've been mad at the white man. White man ain't got nothing to do with it. Is that white man making you rob Pastor Winers? Is that white man putting a gun in your head and say rob your next door neighbor? Is that white man making you get on the block and sell that dope to your own kind? Is that white man making you walk out on your children? Is that white man the one giving you all the baby mama drama, baby daddy drama? No. You bring that stuff on yourself. And I know I just made about 10 million more black people mad with this video, but I don't care. Truth hurt. This, you hear what Marvin said at the end of that interview. He said, this got to stop. And it's not going to stop until Christ returns. Don't nobody fear, man, don't nobody fear the Lord I look like no more. And it's, it's, it's sad, man, that people, and I believe Pastor Wine has had an infinity, they just wanted this card. And what's sad, uh, Pastor Marvin Wine said that I would have gave them the money. He would have gave them what they wanted, but they still roughed him up anyway. This is the type of world we live in. Here. They don't give a damn you a man of God. They don't care. They don't care that you go to church. They don't care that you love the Lord. They don't care. And if it means taking your life, like he said in that video, look at the other, the old man that got killed at the gas station, I believe. No reason. And Detroit got some, Detroit, and Detroit is rough. Let me tell you something. When you get to fooling with Detroit, L.A., Compton, some, some parts, you, I don't know what I'm talking about. If you come over, I can tell you where not to go where I'm at in Dallas. I'm not even going to call out no places, but it just don't matter where you at, man. And with that being said, Dan, that's a nice video, bro. And and I just want to respond back with you. And like I say, Ramon, if you're looking at this video, I know you you full of anger because you go to the church. You know Pastor Wine is in. I mean, it's one thing to see crooked preachers all the time. You know, always, you know them by their face. They always out doing something. But when you see people who don't never be broadcast, business all out and open, good pastors, good churches moving forward, it's sad. Because you already got everybody thinking that, oh, all preachers are just stealing money. Let me tell you something, Marvin Wine has got a heart of gold. And a big shout out to his family, man. I'm just... I'm praying for everybody, Dan, praying for you and your family. I just pray, pray, excuse me, that 
everybody, man, for protection, man. That God keep his loving and protecting on protect protect love and protection all around each and every last one of y'all. Because we living in some evil, some trying times. And it will get worse. It will get worse. But in the long run, it will get better, won't it, many man? Lady D, it will get better. Lisa, it will get better, won't it? And you got to believe that. But these things must happen first. Sad thing is, don't know where it's going to happen next. I was on my way home the other day, man. And, and a neighborhood I just passed through, dude broke in their house and shot, him, shot this man four times and one in the head right in front of his children. Church goer. Man of God. Do nobody wrong. Sound like the same way they did Christ. So can you really stand? I heard P.P. Drawing say everybody want to go to heaven, but don't nobody want to die to get there. I thank God that he that, that Marvin uh, Winans, Pastor Winans, is still here. He didn't lose his life. So they let me know he got some more greater work to do. And I pray that them men, young black men, he said it was us. I pray that they get caught and I pray they can change. I don't wish death on nobody, but you live that life, death will come upon you. So I don't only just pray for the victim, I pray, I pray for the people that do the things too. I pray for everybody, a lot of people don't understand that. So it don't matter who you are, I'm praying for you. And one thing was that I heard this in an old movie, I want to say South Central, that you can, if you hit a man, his in times his wounds will heal. If you steal from a man, you can later on return those goods with equal value, but if you kill a man, if you kill him, you can't make it back right with him, nor his family. So... I hope everybody's doing well. Didn't even mean to make this video that long. Just a little real talk video. Miss everybody. You know, been real busy lately. But with that being said, we just got to stay out of the shadows of the Almighty. Big shout out to you once again, Dad, and the YouTube family, brothers and sisters around the world. Just try your best. Just stay prayed up and live this life the best way that you can. Peace.